Mark Duvilla. I'm a Swiss citizen, but I've been in Zimbabwe since uh, 1995. Uh, in Switzerland, I play soccer. I started at 18 as a professional soccer. I play for 12 years. And at the age of uh, 13, I started uh, coaching. Because during uh, my player time, I passed my diploma. And uh, at 13, I didn't start coaching with uh, junior. I started uh, straight at the high level because I was uh, with a team in the Premier League in Switzerland. And they asked me to take over. And I took over the team. And um, after I coached a uh, different team in Switzerland for 10 years, and after I moved to Zimbabwe, where it was a project with uh, Black ACS Football Club, and uh, this project uh, didn't uh, go well. And uh, what did well is uh, when I met uh, Nigel Muniati, and um, we decided to do something for, for Junior. And uh, it's when uh, we start uh, with the SSU Soccer Academy. Also to <laughs> the first question: Why uh, uh, decide with Nigel? Why we decide to open a, a, a academy for junior? I think because uh, I, after four or five years here in Zimbabwe, coaching Black Aces, coaching sometimes the national team, I, I discover nothing was done for junior. When the, you have a, a, a country like Zimbabwe with uh, plenty of, of talented players and there are no infrastructure, no possibility to, to develop, just to wait to play a little bit at school and sometimes to be lucky to join team. And we decide to, to start an academy. Now starting an academy, uh, starting growing a young player, maybe the most difficult thing to do in, in soccer. Because I think uh, today to, to, to coach Manchester City, Arsenal, Real Madrid, uh, is, uh, you got uh, all the infrastructure, you got everything, you got a good, good player. After, if you are a coach with uh, some ID, you can do something. With, uh, with Junior, it's quite, uh, especially in, uh, in, uh, here in Zimbabwe, it's, it's quite difficult because you have, to, you have to start from scratch, you have to, to find a method to, to motivate people, to motivate coaches. Uh, is um, a big job, but it's very, it's very interesting. And, uh, you need to, to have a passion for soccer to do that. Now, uh, people ask me, yeah, but uh, talent, what is the talent? Yes, it's a very good question. It's, it's maybe for us to find talent is very difficult because uh, peop a young boy maybe is uh, very talented at uh, 12 years old, but after he's growing up, he's, uh, he's losing interest for soccer and he's losing his talent too. That means uh, when you find a, a player with talent, what is very difficult is to make him understand he's got talent, but now he has to work very, very hard to develop this talent. And uh, fortunately, uh, I'm, I'm traveling uh, once a year or sometimes more in, in Europe to visit different academy, to visit what they are doing and try to bring back a new method, a new system, new approach with talent and try to, to, to tell, explain and to teach my, my coaches to what, what we are going to do, what we need to do, because football is always uh, uh, in movement. Uh, what we are doing uh, 10 years ago, we are not doing anymore today. That means what we are doing today, we are not going to do maybe in five years' time. That means it's, uh, it's all the time is like that. Uh, we have to we have to be very open, very curious to have this passion to know what exactly is, is uh, soccer is uh, is um, why soccer is changing. I try to to bring uh, uh, in, uh, in uh, I try to bring in the in the academy. The, the, the most achievement at the SS Academy, yes, we can say we got you got uh, everybody knows uh, knowledge Musona, Kama Billiard, you know, the player playing in South Africa, some playing in Europe. But uh, a good achievement is not maybe in soccer, is we got some guys uh, they are at university in South Africa because we help them as a soccer player first and after as a student because we cannot uh, uh, only help uh, uh, this junior to be soccer player. We want them to be also a, a citizen, an educated uh, 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 person. And this is maybe uh, our, our best achievement. But uh, I think we are still 
dreaming here to have one year uh, Zimbabwe national team winning the African Cup of Nations with four, five or six players from the academy. One thing is very important for us here also, uh, yes, soccer player, because uh, we are, I'm the soccer, uh, soccer coach, we are passionate for soccer, but uh, what is important in life is education too. And our, our sponsor, the different foundation in Switzerland, they help us. Uh, they want uh, also us to help these uh, boys and girls to succeed at school, to give them education. Because I think is, uh, education is, uh, is, is the key, is the key for developing an academy, developing a country. And I think this is very important. And here at the, at the academy, we try, and it's not easy because a boy, when he's coming here, he wants to be a star, a soccer, he wants to play for Manchester, he wants to play for Chelsea. And when we, we told him, hey, pass your O level, pass your advanced level, go maybe to university, try to do things also. It's very difficult and we are trying to push them. It's why we got also uh, uh, somebody help us, is a um, life skill counselor. He's got a very important uh, position here to, to, to talk with these boys and these girls the importance of the of the, the education and I think uh, we are not only a, a soccer academy, we are an education academy too. For these and other stories, visit our website www.263chat.com. Follow us on Twitter at 263chat and like our Facebook page 263chat.